Hi, today I'm going to show you that uh, how to integrate uh, IBM Watson Assistant into your website. So for that you must have an IBM Cloud account which I already have one so I will log into that. Uh, those who doesn't have please create an account on, on IBM Cloud. After you log into your account the first thing that you need to do is to you need to uh, launch uh, that account and then from there you need to create a resource under Watson which is called uh, Watson Assistant so Watson Assistant is actually the chatbot so I already have created one but uh, for you it will not be created so you will get started from there so after you getting started from there it will actually take you a few steps to select like uh, you, uh, you have to select a region and if you even in a free version you can create it but to add it on your website you must have a have a trial account plus trial account so these are the few steps you do and you click on the create uh, button to create uh, the resource for Watson assistance so now I will go to the one that I have already created so I will go to the existing services and and then from the services I will click on the Watson assistant that I have already created so for those who will newly create it they will see the service listed here so they need to click it from here and after they click it uh, they will land into this page where uh, you will see your API and your API key and URL uh, from here and then you will click on the launch Watson assistant so after clicking that you will go to a page where you have to create an assistant from that blue button so I already have one created but I will show you how to create your assistant which is the actual chatbot that you are going to use on your website so you need to get a get a name uh, of the chatbot and you can add a description which is optional make sure you enable the enable preview link thing so that you can keep checking while doing the work so after you get there you will land on that page so these are the two things which you will see now the main thing which I will show here that how you can integrate it with with your with your website so you need to click on that add integration and then you will see this web chat chat thing which you can see it's under the plus account so you must have a plus tutorial a plus uh, account to to be able to integrate with your website so give it a name so this name will appear top of the chatbot so make sure you give it a proper name and then after you click uh, submit it you will come to the actual chat uh, managing chat uh, window so where you can uh, again need to put the chat name and need to put uh, you can adjust the font family color based on your website's theme and there is your code uh, so you need to create copy that code so now I will also show you that how you can integrate it onto your website so if you're having a WordPress website uh, this is an easy process you need to go to the plugins uh, there is a cool plugin which really helps you to put the code on the header otherwise you need to go to the files and do it so here I will type the, the name of the plugin which is a header footer uh, injection plugin so after you search it it should appear mm, so uh, it should appear here uh, wait a second yeah here you go header footer post injection so you will install that it's already installed for me so it will show under your settings and if you go there uh, I have already inserted one code so basically you will put it here on the on the header section so that it appears on every page um, of your website the chatbot will appear so after you do that uh, so I will show you how it will should appear onto your website uh, so I just reloaded my page and here you go the one that I have already created as you can see uh, so it start uh, being me uh, with the welcome message and it's already coded the dialogues are already inserted so if I say a name it will reply me with a name so in my next video I will show you how to catch the username and reply in a personalized way. So for today that's all for now. Uh, uh, I hope you like it and I hope you have understood how to install it into any kind of website. And that's all for now. We'll
catch you soon on my next video where I will explain further. Thanks, bye.